so previously we we created we created the we generated data data for JavaScript from the PHP array. So currently that that should be changing because PHP PHP it is still dummy data. So we want data from our database. So we want to store data inside the database and we want to load data from the database. So to do that, so you you open I I believe you already have a MySQL workbench otherwise go to the readme and then download MySQL workbench and and install it on your computer so when you are inside here so make sure you are you you are running MySQL and I believe you are still running because you are running WordPress and then this is your port so to get the connection to connect to that one so you open, you click this guy, and then give a name. This, I already have it, a name. That's your, our local host, and that's our port number, and then make sure you match from the PHP uh, ZAMP. So, and then you, you, are, you are, uh, give a username, database username. Don't confuse with WordPress, and then this is for the database. And then if you have a password, make sure you have a password and then you click OK. So this is our guy. So if you click, double click on that guy, you should be seeing similar to this. And then I already have more than one database. And currently I'm on the tutorial. That's, that's, my, that's what my current WordPress is running. So if you go inside the, inside the, tables i mean so these are the default tables from wordpress i'm not going in details so you click on i'm sorry you click on this guy sql so we will be creating a new sql and then make sure make sure you you make sure you use use tutorial will be given new lines and then you select uh, this guy and then press so that means we are we are con we are using this database so let's see black uh see the bold bold color that means we are at the current database and then what shall we be doing is you open the you open the tutorial mysql.php and then and then and then and then and then copy copy a to line number a to system that should be line number eight to system paste so we'll be creating a new table so which is called wb custom data and then we, we have the ID and auto increment so that ID cannot be new new and then we have the save data and then that's a batch so we'll be storing January February something like that and then we have the amount that that's a decimal so that that ID is primary key so you select 11 to 16 and then you click on this guy and then And let's say the tables already exist. So I think I dropped tables. So you select this guy. Make just select. Don't 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 include the the bit the bit dash. Select this guy and then drop execute this guy. And then you select this one again because I already I already I created the plugin and then I haven't cleaned up the plugin yet that's why that tip the tables has already exists so you create you select line 11 to 16 and then execute and then you will get the and this is refresh button so you, you refresh and then you will got wb custom c data table so that's our newly created table so find us that's why we put custom so Make sure you start with WP. It's very important. So if you are already 
if you if you upload your plugin on the live website i mean live hosting so your plugin may not work because so you didn't start with wp also also the hosting provider are really strict what to be what you should be doing so and then you copy nine line 19 to 35 so line 19 to 35 so so and then we we insert our data inside inside that table so this table and then you you execute and in the end you copy you query the voice inside the table i'm not explaining that one you already know so show me everything inside the table so these are the data so we previously we are adding data inside from the javascript format and then we come back to php now we are will be getting data from the database so 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 let me go back let me go back so that's is pretty much everything for this tutorial and then we created the custom data and then in the next tutorial we will we'll load data from database and then and then and then stay tuned i hope you learn something so so the mysql workbench is really helpful and then if you are using php my admin that will be same as well so i'm not covering with PHP my admin so it's it's really easy convenience to use my secret workbench. So I'll see you at the next tutorial. This is for now.